Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Mac Mini 2012. I've got 16 GB of RAM and 500 GB SSD, and we're going to upload Sequoia so that we can have a newer iOS and download more apps, and it's free. First thing, go, go to Open Core Legacy Patcher, which is here, and then on the top right, click the GitHub link. Now, you do need, I think you do need to download Chrome for this, otherwise when you go to download the patcher, it just cycles, so just use Google Chrome. Also get yourself a USB stick, the smallest is 16 GB, this one I've got is like 500, but it's a USB stick, we're going to need that, and when, when you do plug that into your, into your Mac Mini, you will see a little window appear on your desktop, which is sort of like a gold colour, so that's gone in ready recommended to be formatted and this is going to be used to upload the the uh, sequoia 15 let's call it and then put that onto our hard drive when you connect devices to your mini mac they'll if they are external they'll be like this gold color if they're the internal main hard drive they'll be the proper sort of silver color uh, so that's worth noting now go to the github link click here on the right hand side look for where it says the latest in green writing that we've got here and scroll down and you want to click the third one down open core legacy patcher let's get this out of the way like so and just click third one down patcher let that download takes a few minutes Yeah, I just saw that. I need to click keep because I'm on Chrome. And you'll see it just uh, just downloading here. So wait that wait for that to load. At the moment we are using High Sierra. I'll just show you that. Just up here, click the little apple about this Mac. And there it is there. That's what we've got at the moment. Okay, that's downloaded. Let's just double click it and then continue. Install password in and then install. Shouldn't take too long. There you go. Fast forward and then close. Uh, keep as well. Let's go to our finder and look for open core. Open core. Enter. Let's go down to our downloads here. There it is. There. Double click. Continue install once our password again and install hmm. I th thought we already had this but anyway yeah that's all good let's look in our launcher there it is there double click open call and now we're going to click Create Mac OS installer and then download Mac OS installer. So this is probably what takes the longest. It will give you some choices, but we're going to choose Mac OS Sequoia and then click download. And then back when that is downloaded, I think it's a good half an hour. OK, we're getting there. OK, it's now extracting. Right, we're going to go yes, like so. Install Mac OS 15, yes. And then we're going to be looking for our external disk. That's the one then, ending the word star. And then we're going to go yes, because it, it wipes the disk. Creating installer. We get the option to use a backup. I'm going to click don't use and then let it, you can see it's still installing now. 
We are getting there, you have to be patient. Creating installer, install macOS secure. And remember my USB stick is still plugged in at the moment and you can see it just, just up here in gold. So now we click, it says it's successfully installed. Would you like to continue? I'm gonna put yes. It does this and I'm gonna put install to disk. And, and then we need to, now we're gonna select the disc, which is my hard drive, the one that my device, will, my Mac will boot up from, not the external disc. So we're gonna select that and then select again. And then it will write everything. And it says reboot. We wanna make sure it reboots from, from the, the correct drive. So we now have to select reboot, but we do, we'll have to hold our alt key down because when it boots up, we have to select the EFI. So let's go reboot and restart. Get my, I've got my finger on it already. And you'll see that now we've got the option. We're just gonna move over to the left to the EFI and then select EFI like so and then we want install Mac Sequoia on the right hand side and then click install there it goes so now I've got to be patient again now we select install Mac OS Sequoia here and go continue be patient <laughs> it's not the 2025 device continue You can have lots of RAM and a fast SSD, but you know, the processor can only go so fast. There you go, we go agree, and then agree. And this time we want it on our hard drive and continue, not on the external drive, which hopefully we should be able to re remove soon. I, I, I don't want to risk removing it right now another waiting game so yeah it says here 40 minutes but after this you'll just be able to go next 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 and just put all your your usual settings in and you will be on sequoia and then i can download an app called peanut for hams that i like to use which needs uh, ios 15. So just to warn you it does boot up several times you know you're talking like four but about four or five times it boots up just be patient leave it alone go off have a nice long walk and a cup of tea when you come back, you'll have the Sequoia screen. Okay, it's all installed, so we're just gonna get our password in there. Right, well you can see it's all worked, it's, it's working great, set it up, bye for now, all the best, Hamtech, bye for now.